Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of eating on baseline maintenance calories, 11 days out from British finals. Um, and this is the last day I'm on this baseline maintenance calories as we start tomorrow to slowly reduce carbohydrates, um, fully deplete um, in glycogen. Then we'll fat load um, for a couple of days in peak week next week, and then we will do a two day carb up. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that, um, and I'm slowly saying goodbye to carbs and pumps in the gym um, from today. Um, so we're starting on 350 carb um, with 210 protein, 35 fats. Now steps today are around 8,000. Um, no cardio. Cardio has been removed a long, long time ago. Um, we're keeping the body fresh, but steps will likely increase over the next couple of days. So I'll take you through the full day of eating. I hope you enjoy uh, this video. If you do, please give it a like. And if you are new around here, please um, subscribe to the channel because it really does help. And let's get into it. So here we have meal one, which is um, always a pro-fat meal for me. I like to leave my carbohydrates trickled throughout the day and the majority of them around my training window. So we do, we are training later, we have a push session. Um, so a lot of my carbohydrates will be around that. Um, all of my foods generally um, at the moment, because I'm on prep and because I'm so close uh, to um, the finals, are very much bodybuilding, fairly bland, but I try to season them as much as possible. I have my trusty salt here because I have four grinds of salt on every meal, uh, just to make sure that my sodium levels um, are um, constant, uh, because that does uh, impact uh, water uh, retention, etc. So meal one, two whole medium eggs, 100 grams of egg whites, um, and I have that scrambled um, with my salt on. Fairly bland, um, but the key to this is to make sure that you have um, decent eggs. And I say that because if you get cheap, um, crappy eggs, then you get no flavor. And obviously with the added egg whites, um, for me, it just adds an extra bit of volume and some more protein. And then we just have some mixed veg, so very, very small amount of carbs, like I said. That's just for added fiber and some additional volume, because at the moment, although I am on 350 grams uh, worth of carbs, fats are quite low. Calories around 2,600, uh, I believe. So um, whilst relatively high compared to my low days in prep, my body um, is like a furnace. It just really wants to eat as much food as possible um, and it wants to put weight on because we are um, a ridiculously low body fat. So I'll get into this um, and I will see you for meal two. Hi guys, so meal two and um, this is literally one of my favorite meals, believe it or not. So we've got 200 grams of 0% um, fat-free yogurt. So I use the farge or faya or whatever you want to, to call it. Um, and I mix in 15 grams of whey isolate. So I'm currently using Yummy Sports Cinnamon Crunch. Um, I would always recommend using a whey isolate um, if you're mixing it in with something because it mixes so much, uh, it mixes so much better than a normal whey blend that can be quite lumpy. Also got 50 grams of strawberries in there for a bit of extra flavor and 90% uh, um, dark chocolate. Um, I use the Lint 90% um, dark chocolate. Um, and I put a bit of salt on there. I know a lot of people think that's weird, but um, I really like it. I'll then also add um, free rice cakes um, to this as well. So Snacker Jack caramel is the best flavor, without a doubt. Um, again, I could have some uh, plain rice cakes with some jam on. Um, just easy to digest and um, again these are just very easy um, when you're traveling to work on bits and pieces uh, to prep. You'll also see that um, I, I always sit away from my desk when I'm eating just to de-stress I'll put a video on my phone um, just for 10-15 minutes 
because you don't want to be eating in a stressful environment because that can impact your digestion. So um, stop talking now and let me eat and I will see you for meal free. So a meal free now is uh, 5% beef mince. That's 125 grams of beef mince. And I put chicken seasoning on all of my uh, meats just because it's a really low calorie and I really like the taste. And it goes quite nicely with uh, these beef mince. And I have that with 100 grams of mixed veg and 125 grams of cooked microwave. Uh, today with basmati rice, sometimes I'll have long grain white rice. And uh, that is my meal. I also have um, two um, snacker jacks with that uh, meal as well. Um, again, I kind of just like to have foods that I um, not only enjoy, um, I say enjoy that I can tolerate, they are just very plain foods because I don't want to upset my digestion, especially this close to finals. And other kind of things I take into consideration, um, obviously along with salt, is uh, water intake. So I tend to have one litre of water after each meal, um, and I have a couple of water, uh, a couple of litres um, in the morning as well. Um, so I tend to have around five to six litres every day. Um, and right, that's meal three. Uh, I will see you for meal four. So meal four, my pre-workout meal. Um, if you have seen my previous video on my pool session, which I'll put a link to in the video somewhere, you will know that my staple is always chicken and rice. So I have 175 grams of chicken breast, um, with uh, 250 grams of uh, Thai jasmine rice um, that's cooked um, and I use uh, these and they are quite expensive um, about 90p um, but like I said when you're these are quite expensive but when you're on the go they're really really handy so I have a whole um, bag of these and I absolutely love it it's so hard to find at the minute. Like this is my last one. I went to two different Sainsbury's yesterday to try and find it. But I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, chop up my chicken, um, and then I have 100 grams of pineapple with that. Um, that's a bit of fructose um, to add in with the glucose. Um, so I do have an intro workout that is 20 grams worth of carbs. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to put this into the frying pan, get all this um, cooked up so that I can um, get ready for the gym. And then I'll see you for my post-workout meal, which is my last meal of the day. And yeah, see you then. Push session now done. And we're on to the final meal of the day, which I am still very hungry even though I've had 350 grams of carbs or about to finish that off um, but just because of where my body's at at the moment uh, and being so close to peak week um, so final meal going in is um, 40 grams of whey isolate so I've recently picked up this salted caramel from Perform we know Perform is the best flavours but this is um, Pretty decent, um, like I said, whey ice that is very easy to digest. And then we are going for an absolute post-workout staple, and that is Cocoa Pops. Um, so 120 grams of Cocoa Pops with 100 grams of strawberries. Again, a bit of fructose in there. Um, strawberries just to add a bit more, a bit of freshness into quite a high sugary um, carbohydrate. Um, and um, I do add milk. Uh, there has been times on prep where I have just had it dry, um, but I've got a little bit of leeway to add some milk in just to also top the protein up. And that's just semi skimmed, that's 150 mil. So I'm going to eat that and then I'm done. And I really, really hope you've enjoyed this full day of eating on maintenance calories. If you have, please drop the video a like. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to the channel because uh, it really does help and I'd love to grow the channel. Huge! And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.